Blue Star loves Anacott Steel. Blue Star loves Anacott Steel. It was the quote from Oliver Stone's Wall Street back in the 1980s and was the insider trading code passed on from broker to broker in the program trading scheme when Greed is Good Gordon Gecko faced his first adversary, Sir Larry. And on October 7, 2019, it was reported that in Pew's Research Center telephone surveys conducted in 2018 and 2019, 65% of American adults described themselves as Christians when asked about their religion, down 12 percentage points over the past decade. Meanwhile, the religiously unaffiliated share of the population consisting of people who describe their religious identity as atheist, agnostic, or nothing in particular, now stands at 26%, up from 17% in 2009. The sensational headline read, In U.S. Decline of Christianity Continues at Rapid Pace. Do I have your attention? I know that you're interested. Have you made your decision for Christ? In the movie Wall Street, Gordon Gecko told Bud Fox the story of the tulip panic to present the golden rule that perception is reality. So, Bud, would you believe that the decline of Christianity is not continuing at a rapid pace? No. Regression analysis that is employed by every serious social scientist worth his salt is not even once employed by the folks at Pew Research Center. But when a regression analysis is performed on the raw data in the downward sloping chart presented to facilitate the comprehension level of visual learners, a little convenience, it is clear that under a normal distribution curve, the loss in church membership for decades is not statistically significant at all. So, should you be concerned? Well, yes. If you're ever invited to a poker game and don't know who the sucker is, it is probably you. Somebody tried to deceive you. And the ones who gave you that gospel to, to you hold themselves out as the fourth estate, having assumed your free speech right under the Constitution. But as a born again Christian with a great commission, you should also be very concerned about the half truth. And that half truth is that even though your church memberships are not continuing in sharp decline as reported, the body of Christ and its footprint in America and throughout the world is becoming a smaller part of the whole, being outpaced by Sharia law and not by the atheists and the agnostics and the nuns who even Pew Research Center projects to begin to recede by the year 2060, based upon actuarial predictive models and the fact that amongst all faith denominations, they are the most in flux because their ranks are not filled with the atheists who hate God forever, but rather fickle folks, perhaps like yourself, who depart a church or denomination and wander in the wilderness for a while, only later to return. In fact, most Americans today, over a lifetime, will have up to three separate denomination changes, with some even setting up their tabernacle in the holy secular church of the spiritual but not religious, which by function of basic sociology presents perhaps the greatest blessing to the church in those places where even our brave will not go, attracting only 3 to 4% each year from those who never knew the Lord. And according to sociologists, the old proverb or antiquated code that records the fable that if you train a child in the way that he shall go, he shall not depart from it has actually been validated repeatedly in our choices in politics, as well as in faith. Despite a few prodigal son journeys, it has been found that those children who receive the blessings of having been led by the Spirit of God and aided by the Spirit of God to further engage and maintain family and secret devotions, to religiously educate our children and to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances, have an implanted homing device that beckons them back 
when they find themselves far from their father and finally find himself. Sociologists have also validated the fact that man thirsts for the word of the true and living God. Bearing witness in survey data of the experience of the Roman Catholic Church in Latin America and the southern parts of the globe, where the charismatic and Pentecostal denominations are the fastest growing faith denomination, exalting the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but also preaching an unabashed gospel, even on controversial social issues like abortion and gay marriage, which has brought conversions in multitudes from church roles of the Roman Catholic Church. Yet if you read as Holy Writ the Press, those holy rollers are not something about which you should be proud to proclaim in the name of the gospel and the holy name of Jesus Christ. According to Pew Research, 65% of persons in America identify themselves as Christians, and over 95% of them further identify themselves as born again. Are you born again? According to Pew Research Center, even though atheists tend to be predominantly male, and on average more intelligent on a broad range of topics, when it comes to knowledge about Christianity, none can hold a candle to millennials, who not only know their Bible even better than the atheists, but are the most devout in their practice and professions of Christianity and the most regular readers of his holy word in the scriptures than any other generation in recorded time. The children are our future. And so, if you got a brand new car, would you share it with your friends? Sure you would. If you got a hot stock tip, it was going to make you a million dollars, would you share it with your closest business associates? Sure you would. If you discovered the cure for cancer, would you want to share it with everyone in the world? No doubt about it. If so, why not make a resolution for the next year to live like Jesus and find 12 disciples and the church, by your single action, collectively will increase the church tenfold in its witness. Do I have your attention? I know that you are interested. Have you made your decision for Christ? What do I have to say to get you in this cause today? Can I get a witness? Let the church say, Amen. My name is Major Mike Webb, and I am running for Congress with liberty, honor, and excellence. By God, let's make America great again. Honest. This advertisement was authorized by Mike Webb. Mike Webb, it's the name you know. Honest.